am Jennifer with the Kentucky Agriculture and Environment in the Classroom, and this is our wheat grinding station, or also known as Put Your Muscles to Work station. And we're going to show the students the difference in technology used many hundreds of years ago versus technology used today uh, with processing our food. So first, as the kids walk up, you can hold some of the grain out and ask them if they know what type of grain this is. And this is soft red winter wheat. This is the type of wheat that's grown here in Kentucky. Um, and we choose this wheat because of our climate here. It's typically grown in the fall and then it will overwinter. And then when the temperature of the soil starts to warm up, it will start to, to grow. And it is then harvested in June. But what's cool about our wheat is that it is used in cookies and crackers and pancake and biscuit mixes, different baking mixes. If anyone has ever eaten a biscuit at McDonald's, they've probably eaten Kentucky-based wheat. There's a cool poster that comes along with this lesson. It's got some cool wheat facts that you might want to familiarize yourself with. A couple of the other classes of wheat they might know is uh, durum wheat is used for making pastas, and then the hard wheats are used for bread. We're also going to explain how technology has evolved. So as jobs are become difficult and time consuming, uh, people find ways to make it easier using different technologies and different energy resources. So we have some pictures of a grist mill. So this is the old way, which we're going to try, which is doing it by hand in a mortar and pestle. Uh, we have pictures of a grist mill, which is run by water, and then it would turn a large wheel. And then here's the mills of today. So this is a mill that is in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and they use electricity and very large machinery to grind wheat very, very quickly. So that shows the progression of engineering here. But they're going to use a simple machine, which is a mortar and pestle. This is a lever. And we are going to give them just a tablespoon of wheat. The wheat will be provided for you. You're gonna make sure that the kids have about a tablespoon in each of the, the mortar and pestles. And then you're gonna give them a few minutes to grind this by hand. And I am going to warn you, it takes a very, very long time. They have to really use their muscles to grind the wheat. And I will be honest, that tablespoon of wheat that you put in there will probably last the entire 50 minute session of all the classes that come and visit. So they will all get to take turns grinding this wheat. One thing, make sure they don't pound it like this because it makes all the wheat fly out and then you've got a big mess. But they can grind and grind and grind to try to get some flour. And then after they've done that for a few minutes, you can use our little strainer and pour it, pour what they've done into the strainer and shake out the flour. And then they'll see the flour that they have made during that session. Now, with the last minute and a half of your uh, session, you're gonna say, okay, we're gonna make this a little easier on you. So we are going to get a quarter cup of wheat and put in our hand mill, and it is a compound machine, but we're just gonna put a little bit of wheat into this. Uh, some of the hand grinders that you may have at your station might have a big hopper on the top. Do not fill that up. We're just gonna put a little bit of wheat in there, and the kids in each session, they're just gonna focus on that, that quarter cup that they got. And we're going to turn it, make sure you're going the right way. I was going the right way the first time. And it's still a slow process, but we already have some flour that we've made using the hand mill. Uh, because it's got two machines in one, it's using um, better leverage. It's got a screw that pushes the wheat into, in between two plates. It's more efficient. We've made our job a lot easier. It's going to take less time, and they can actually see that progression of technology. So thank you very much for helping us teach this lesson, and we'll see you next time.